What are your thoughts now on Canelo Alvarez, Danny Jacob? That you know, eventually, that the you know, can, uh, Jacobs he was calling a lot, you know, Canelo, and finally they made it happen. How you see, you know, the the chances that Jacobs can beat Canelo? I oh, mean, the chances are great. I mean, that's definitely a, a big fight. Uh, it's a toss up. Um, Danny Jacobs is a extremely well. Extremely good fighter. Uh, we have a, a very good trainer, Andre Rosier, uh, in his corner. Uh, experienced, knowledgeable, uh, a man, uh, uh, a man of a, a good character. And uh, I look at all of those things when you when you look at developing a fighter. The same thing I could say for Canelo. You know, he has the two trainers that he started with, uh, similar to Jared and I. And they have developed him from a kid into a, a multiple world champion. So you have two schools going at each other, uh, very high talented fighters, and it's a toss up. But for me, I believe that the winner will be who never imposes their style on each other. Uh, so I can't say who's going to win because it's, it's so close. Yeah. Uh, if Jacobs comes in there and, and fights his fight, he could very well easily, easily beat Canelo. However, if Canelo comes in and, and imposes his will, he could very, very easily beat uh, uh, Jacobs as well. So it's just a definitely a competitive fight. It's a fight that I would like to see. I think the fight that the, the boxing world would like to see is good for boxing, good for TV. I mean, it's a win-win situation for everybody, the fighters, the promoters, the, the public, TV, pay-per-view, whomever is involved. I mean, I, I'll try my best to be ringside if I could. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of, you know, tension when we when we mention fights like this, like Canelo, like Jacobs, and also, you know, Jerry Hurd, because I see that now Jerry Hurd is calling, you know, is is the tension of every every most every boxer, every boxer that uh, is coming in his weight class, they want to fight Jerry Hurd. One, it's Thomas Lamana that he actually called out Jerry. Uh, cornflake. <laughs> cornflake, exactly, cornflake. A lot of people know it's more for cornflake. What do you guys think if he, let's say, would you guys give it a chance, you know, probably, or if he... Listen, I would say this. If he's ranked in the top 10 and Jared defends against the mandatory, which is Jared win, and there's a break in between the next big fight where we can pick from and Cornflake is on the line, we definitely will take that. Uh, but he has to be ranked in the top 10. I mean, you know, it's all about opportunity. Yes. You know, Thomas Lamont is a young kid. Who, I think he's self promoter his family promotes him. I think. And, and uh, he's done an outstanding job, a great job doing that. Um, and he probably packs, packs a big a big crowd. Uh, you know, as he established in the top 10 as a notable opponent, you know, may not be, but if he gets himself in the top 10, then it could be easy for me to say, hey, fight him. But I don't make the last decision, you know. Exactly. It's, it's just something that we can entertain. If he's ranked in the top ten, there's some um, certain you know rules and in, in boxing that you have to follow. You know, as right. you mentioned, if he's rated right. like maybe number ten or right. number you know eight or right, right, company, right. and then he's willing you know to right. deserve that spot. Right. But we'll see. You know, I mean, it, uh, he mentioned me one day. He says, "I would everybody, like." Everybody wants to fight Jerry. He says, uh, "He mentioned me." <laughs> Hey, uh, give me that fight, you know. He's like, I wanted to fight him, so I was like, hey, it's not up to me. I mean, but I definitely you're gonna, you know, speak with, you know, Jerry Hurd, Coach Ernesto, and see, you know, the, if they gotta talk with the promoters right. and everything, because it's not that you just mentioned, oh, let's fight and, and that's yeah, it. We, so we get with our management company. I mean, you know, that's who, who we, we, we do the negotiation with. Uh, you know, we, we like to be a lawyer and, and we like to be. Uh, uh, Good standard and do things right. Uh, and and uh, thus far, we we we're, we're happy uh, with uh, everything. And um, 
you know, that's the way we do business, you know, in a real respectful manner. So if we do if we bring the top ten, yeah, we sit down with the management company and 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 see what what can be done. You know, but till then there's nothing else to talk about. Yeah, it's it's almost like not in really our hands. It's it's up to you know the people that is up to us like promoters, you know, managers and everybody, because, right, right. yeah, 